What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over locker codes and then we're going to talk about the marketing. Yes, guys, today is pretty much it's confirmed endgame, man. 2K is going on for free and on uh, PS4. It's already free on Xbox. If you haven't checked that video, make sure to go check it out, man. It's free in the store. So, yeah, we're going to go over these two new locker codes and then we're going to go over the market. I know you guys have been waiting for some market talk. And some empty methods, so here we go, man. We're going to go for this taco fall right here. Hopefully, we get the opal, man. That will be so clutch. And then we're going to go over the market. So, guys, if you are new, please smash that sub button. Drop the like. It would be greatly appreciated, man. Here's the code uh, for possible Galaxy Opal Taco Fall, man. This would be so clutch. But here we go. Uh, XP. And then 3AN is the code. So, there it is, man. Um xp3an players club dash fall dash there it is man so let's see what we get from this code i hope we get opal taco because that would be insane if we do get a free opal i mean i want this taco is still pretty cheese he is seven five so for all you newcomers either way this code is a w for you guys so honestly i'll take it man i'll take a free i'm at this taco he's probably not that good but he is seven five and then again you can just get him a new bowl who is seven seven who could shoot threes and does have range extender and paired up with Bobo is even better. And then we're going to go over this next one. Um, it's nothing special, but you know what? It's worth the try. So we're going to type this one is in two. This was yesterday's code or actually no, this dropped today. So here it is, man. Players dash club dash right. Um, pretty solid code. Not going to lie. So here we go. Uh, here it is, man. Players dash club dash right dash again foreman and then we got the taco code right after this and then we're gonna go over in the description let's see what we get do we get opal taco we got an amethyst taco so eh, it's whatever oh by the way it's not aj hjf at the end it's hje so let's get into some market talk we just got free amethyst taco fall so that's a pretty big w i will take it it is a seven five center what i'll do you man let's get into some market talk so um i told you guys to invest in prime cards let's see how that went paul george did go up a little bit i sold my paul george for 250 guys big l's luca went up not really uh lebron james did drop like i did predict and Kawhi leonard is at around 390 so if you did invest in Kawhi, i sold mine for 340 if you sell them for 400 that's a pretty big dub that's a what a 30k profit around 20 to 30k profit off that and if you sell Paul George, you're going to only make around 10K. So prime investment, it's decent. Is it worth the Karl Malone lock-in? Honestly, yeah, he's a god. I just don't know if you guys do want the mailman as your started power forward because eh, it's, it's more about the name these days. If it was Zion, everyone would be like, word. But uh, LaMelo Ball, guys. LaMelo Ball is one card I would say sell right now before he does drop in value. As you guys do know, this card is one of the best point guard shooting guards in the game. At 6'8", I had him actually. I did just sell him for around a million MT. So I'd recommend selling him. Also, guys, Wiseman going for around 430K. He's like 600K on PS4. If you guys want, if you're not aiming for Zion, I would definitely recommend selling him. Same with Kevin Durant, man. Kevin Durant got price fixed. He was going for around 800,000 MT. Now you could sell him for up to 1.1 mil. 1.1 mil with the reduction is 200,000 MT profit on these KDs. So if you did pick him up for 800K about a week ago or two, He's now up. Same with Kernelenko. Kernelenko was a buyout. Now he rose up to a bid. Let's check out his value real quick. So here we go, Kernelenko. He's pretty much 100,000 MT. If you invested a lot of him at 65, 60K, he's now to 100K. So big Ws. I did tell you guys to invest in some of these cards because as you know, the rarity of all these cards are kind of expensive. Out of position set is really good in my opinion. Jonathan Isaac, low key, high key is worth the lock. Very good center. And uh, Bill Russell, another player that did rise. So he rose. Giannis is around the same value, but it's crazy. A lot of the Opals in these sets, since the packs do go fast, 
they do rise in value. Let's check out RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton looking like a buyout as well. So he rose, okay, no, 85K. So it looks like he's going to rise too. Uh, as long as Anthony Edwards drops a little bit, Hampton could rise to a bid. It depends how it does go. But yeah, there is a lot of value in these sets, man. Honestly, is it Zion worth a lock? In my opinion, I think he is. Would I do it though for the MT value? It is expensive. If you have Rashad Lewis, man, sell him ASAP. He is price fixed to the maximum, 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 bro. 1.3 mil of 15 hours left. Gold Kareem really is that good, guys. So if you have him, make sure to sell him. Also, man, Chris Webber rose a lot. He was around 30K. Now he's around 50, 60, 70. He was at a point 300,000 MT. I don't know what happened there. If you have Shaq, you could sell him. Jimmy Butler. Other than these cards, man, the market is pretty crashed. If you look at Galaxy Ovals and whatnot, pretty, pretty, pretty crashed. And uh, another good small forward you guys should pick up is Carmelo Anthony. I did just get myself a Carmelo Anthony. He is a little bit better than the Nuggets one. Um, pretty solid cards, though, overall. I've been running Unlimited with the squad I'm about to show you. And there should be a lot of stuff talking about. Giannis is one of the and also if you have any pink diamonds that do have rarity I'll probably end up selling them because yeah, they're really expensive Um, Tim Duncan. I heard Tim Duncan's gonna drop because he is in the guaranteed pink diamond packs So let's check that out. Oh wow. There's even none on the market on Xbox. So that's crazy. So I guess he isn't that rare. So Tim Duncan Looking like one of the most rare cards if I were you man, these pink diamond packs don't look too bad after all if you end up pulling a Tim Duncan, you're probably an MT millionaire. He could sell for around 300,000 plus MT. I've seen him sell for 300,000 plus MT, honestly, the whole entire year. So that's another W. If you have that card sitting in your collection, honestly, I would just go ahead and sell it. It's not really worth it. And um, there is a lot of player clubs going, a lot of player of cards going on and whatnot. If you want, you could try to type all those in. You could just go follow my Twitter. I retweeted every single one. And uh, if you guys do need cheap MT, make sure you hit me up on Twitter. But uh, yeah, um, right now, what should you guys be doing? To be honest, I would go after uh, pink diamonds that have rarity that are good and still usable. Um, like I said, man, one of my favorite filters, Flash 5, is one of my favorite filters in the game for profit-wise. Very quick and easy profit. Uh, Wiggins is on here, Red's on here, and they pop up very frequently, and Red is still usable to this day. As you guys do know, I did snipe him out in my video yesterday for around 13,000 MT. And I sold them for 20,000 MT. So as you guys can see, man, this filter, it's pretty good. As you can see, there's a lot of cards getting posted on this filter. Right when a red pops up or a cheap Wiggins pops up, you're going to be the first person to get them guaranteed. That's why pink diamond filters, if you search it by like that, it's very easy to get snipes. And honestly, since the pink diamonds keep dropping, you can make a lot of MT off these guys. So since there are guaranteed pink diamond packs and whatnot, you could make thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of MT per day if you just simply snipe out the pink diamonds yes there is a lot of pink diamond filters you could kind of just filter them out yourself but yeah right now man honestly one of them might be rondo another filter i could show you is prime series vip um there's rondo on here there's a bunch of pink diamonds on here and honestly for the low price of like 5500 you would just sit here and refresh for a couple hours make quick thousand mt 2000 mt here then it adds up to around 100,000 MT as long as you just consistently keep doing this. You also could buy out at like 105k pink diamonds and then press enable and then you get a ton of pink diamonds for really cheap. Since there are a lot of inflation and there is a lot of, not inflation, there's a ton, of, there's a low demand for pink diamonds right now and a high uh, supply. So since that is a thing, you could kind of control the market by doing the enable filter and buying out a ton. You could also, if you have millions of MT, you could also do this and uh, get insane. Like You get a ton of Galaxy Opals for like 50k, 30k, 50k, 70k. If you have like 5 mil MT, I would recommend doing that and then just hitting enable. Then you could get every single Opal in the game, almost on every refresh. So that's another method of mine. But guys, other than that, it's really all we got for the video. The market is crashed. I do recommend selling your cards because it's worth it. You guys are going to make MT if you sell your cards. The market's only going to get worse and worse from here. But yeah, guys, that's really all we got. Hope you did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.